Hello my angels and devils and all who may wander here. I am Amanda Christina. This is Heavenly Imaginings and this is a very overdue for the love of Shabby Chic and Vintage and Shabby Chic um, collab video. I am so sorry Sam and other ladies. I have had a rotten week. I was sick from, I don't know, something hit me last Friday. I swear if anyone comes within a mile of my house and has a virus, I pick it up. Um, but I've been really sick and I still have the dizzies, but I'm pushing past it to get this video filmed because I had these made. Now, Anna's Craft Cupboard, who you all know is like literally my favourite place to shop now, um, had a cyber crop for her birthday when they had the 25% off sale. So these were my entries for the cyber crop. I got this one in a little late. This was... I think it was the mood board one and then this one was tic-tac-toe so you had to pick three things I picked chipboard washi and embellishments so we'll start with this now this is my creation <laughs> I started with the drawers now the mood board had gray and white pinks and blues and yeah so I tried to fit um, I thought the moon child fit that really well this is the little top sort of place. So I, I sort of wanted like a little jewellery box type thing. This is for um, mum's granddaughter. So not, okay, so well mum's partner's granddaughter but she's her granddaughter. She, she gets, she treats them like they're her grandkids too so as you do. So there's two drawers, nice big size for her for her jewellery because Trini loves her jewellery and then there is some beautiful Prima and green tara flowers i really love the quality of these little green tara roses um the pearls are from another flower that i put put in behind here and i didn't quite like it and then these this little heart is from aliexpress as are the little teeny tiny flowers um the rest of it is the paper is, and the ephemera are moon child these are wrinkles yes they look a lot like tim holtz no they're not they're i got 10 for a couple of dollars on aliexpress and i will be going back to buy some more um definitely buying a bigger batch because they are well worth having and then i just left the back plain but what i probably will do is put a nice piece of card stock there just to keep it nice and that is my little drawers and then we have now I now you'll understand why I needed to get an extra one of these because I've already almost used well I've used most of the usable pieces of paper I still have a lot of the cut aparts and things so this is my chipboard Maya Road this I got this um, a few ooh, about five years ago I was lucky enough to be able to afford to get three Maya Road mystery boxes thanks to an inheritance and this teapot album was one of the things in it. It came with a front and back cover with little teacups and spoons, which I've kept because I can trace the album and I can do other things with it. Um, you have to forgive me if you can hear the school noises. I have the house opened up. It's a lovely day. And yeah, we've had such cold days. It was just nice to open it up. So this is washi tape from AliExpress. It is gorgeous washi tape. So I've just cut these three images out and I've used part of the album and I just wanted the Alice's Adventures in Wonderland on the front. And then these little teeny tiny cards and the little, this are uh, from the back cover. I love cutting those pieces apart and utilizing them. And they were perfect for this album just to add a little something. Now this one has also stuff from Enchanted Tea Party. Would you like an adventure now or shall we have a, our tea first, Alice? And then these stickers are from AliExpress, these little very classic ones. They come with little like a chew and little sort of modern words which don't really work for it but I sort of like the stickers. I need to get some more because I've been using them really quickly. And then some more of the teeny tiny cards that, that I cut out from the back cover. Then this one I just really loved this paper and it's Wonderland is better when you are completely lost and I just wanted to leave that as is because I just thought you could add some photos or some other things but I just really I, I kind of liked this album having a bit of a story to it as well and then we have another some stuff from the cut aparts and I've done that on every little spout and then this is another one I just really liked this paper so I just left it although I did add a touch of washi tape at the top and bottom that kind of just blends in just nicely because it's a very uh, it's a very see-through washi and then some more of the little cards and then something I have dreamed sometimes I have dreamed as many as six impossible things before breakfast 
and then some more of these and then another one of those stickers that I got from Ali which I really love um, and then this little pocket with an with again image from the back and I've done these little playing cards they're just plain but what I probably will do is um, put some lined paper or just some plain cardstock on the back so that they can be journaling cards and then another one of those stickers which I really love and some more bits and then just it's always tea time I've inked around this with um, broken china no the one before broken china tumbled glass and then I love this there is a place like no other on earth a land full of enchantment wonder and mystery and these little cards come from the Enchanted Tea Party collection. And then, like, I love that the rabbit hole is sort of upside down and this little picture. Like, I really love these things off the back of the album because you can... Uh, on the back of the paper because you can... You get so much ephemera out of it. Then we have another little... We have a little tuck spot with the mushrooms from Enchanted Tea Party. And this is another cut apart from Enchanted Tea Party, which I have just popped in. Then we go here and we've got just another page where I just love the paper and I just thought that would be a really nice photo spot and some more of the little bits that I cut apart. Again, two pages from the back cover and some more stuff. And then we have the very end, which is, as I said, I sort of wanted this to be like a little story. And then it says, every story has a moral, if only you can find it, which sort of felt like a nice place to end. And then we have the Mad Hatter. And that is my two projects for The Love of Vintage and Shabby Chic. Please do check out all the ladies below. I don't have an updated list. I need to ask Sam for one because I am so bad at keeping up with who's a part of the collab and who isn't. Um, anyway, I will talk to you soon, my angels and devils. Remember, as always, you are amazing. You are incredible. And what? No, I can't hear you. Say it louder, please. Yes, you truly do matter. Bye, all.